good morning to everyone and we start the next lesson. Uh, firstly, we are going to go a lesson about twisting, retrograde and stretching in session. Okay. So first let's start sitting straight. This is a nice Padmasana or Sukhasana. Keep your spine straight and take a deep inhale and exhale. Now into 
chest, let's do some rounding of the spine, inhale, look up, exhale, such a beautiful morning, just stretch your body, take a nice deep breath, there's something called Ujjayi which I'm going to teach you in the end of this session, that's very important for Ashtanga Yogi, so take a deep inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale, exhale. Now keep the spine in neutral, hands down, reach forward, stretch your right leg and left leg. Okay, stretch to the right hand, then take the left hand, left leg and release. Give me eight and stretch. Give me seven, give me six, five, four, three, Two, one, and go. Let's go another side. Stretch it out and stretch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Let your palms down. Now I'm going to take my leg up. Take my hands around. Give me a nice grab and stretch. And look up. Eight, nine, stretch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Now, if you cannot put on your hands at the back or grab your toes, just go for it. Let the leg come up and stretch. And look straight. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and go. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Go down to your child pose. Give a nice stretch. And go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let your palms down. Come up with your cat. Tuck your toes in and go up. Give me a nice stretch here, completely going into your other muka and stay there in five deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift the right leg up and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take the right leg between the palms and turn around. And stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the palms down. Take the right leg back and let's do with the left leg. From the seat. Tuck my feet here in and lift up and forward. So stretch the leg nice high and down. And stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the palms down. And turn around this time. On the opposite side and just gently raise. So my back leg is straight, the front leg is bent, and I stay here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I bring my palms down. Go back into my other mukha. And from other mukha, I'm going to come into Urdhva mukha. Drop my knees down first. Modified version of Chaturanga. Then drop them. Down. Nice inhale. Look up. Exhale. Inhale. Bring the right leg forward. Bring the other leg forward. Backward. And come together. So take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. And relax. Take a deep breath. Relax completely. And now spread your legs slightly. Inhale, stretch for back. Exhale, 
side. And now I will turn you to the side. Bring the knees over the side. Twist. Bring the palms down together. Nice and twist. And turn. And twist. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back to center and let go for the twist here again. And go for it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and come back to center. And come up into standing side. Let's go for something called three pose. Inhale, take your arms up. Take your arms up and stretch and stay steady. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms down. And let's go on the side and stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. And take your thumbs up. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Stand nicely, legs apart, arms apart, and a deep breath. Always make sure your heart should not be going too fast. So try to take slow, deep breathing to bring your Heart rate back to normal, your breath back to steady. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Now we're going to do one balancing posture. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale. Inhale, come to God and sit. Exhale, down. Inhale, turn the left back. Exhale. And now you're going to go for the side bend. So take the right foot out. Okay, hands to the side. And just when you're going to try slowly, you're going to slowly try in my last session I talked about balancing. So you're just going to go try slowly. Keep the legs straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. And let's go other side. And hold that and stay. Five, four, three, two, one, and down, and relax. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch completely. Exhale, take the hands down, bend forward, and here, in a nice stretch, pressing your palms down. I want you to look up and stay here. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Take the right leg back and take the left leg back. Inhale, exhale, and stay. And I want this. I want you to come down. Drop the knees down. Lift the knees up. Drop the knees down. Lift the knees up. Drop the knees down. Let's go for four. Press the heels. Three. Press the heels. Two. One. And down. Now, stay in your left foot. Breathe in nice deep stretch. And I want you to look up. Take the left leg. Right leg. Bring it outside the right palm. Now, this is, can be difficult. You can drop the knees down if you want to modify version. Or stay here. And we go for gently bending down. Now, you can go one inch. Or two inches down. How much of it you can, you have your ability in your hips. But try to go down and come up. Give me five. Give me four. Three. Two. And one. Come back. Take the leg back. Let's go on the other side. So left leg outside. Now my toes and my finger are in the same line. My feet is outside my mat. And I lean forward and I go. Five, four, three, two, one, and back. Take the leg back, drop the knees down, and stretch. And relax. Inhale and exhale. Give me five here. Five, four. Three, two, 
Bring the leg, use your arms and your footage. Four and stretch. Three and stretch. Two, one, and down. Now let's go for preparation for Navasana. So bend your knees slightly. Grab both the legs. Bring the outside. So I'm opening up my knee to relax my lower back. And then I stretch my legs. Make sure you're not 
expecting your lower back, but try to open up your upper trunk from me using the whole spine. So I'm going to push my shoulders out and stretch my leg and take five, four, three, two, one, and slowly down. Inhale, exhale, let's come back. Take both the hands behind, interrupt the leg. Now if you have any shoulder injury, don't try this. Keep the hands near to the body or you can keep it down like this and see. But otherwise, interlock your fingers, holding it up, tap your heel and stretch. Six, look up. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your toes and hold it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly down, relax, open your knees, go down into child pose, and take a breath. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. Slowly come up. Breathe in, breathe out, and exhale. Come into your baby position. Inhale and exhale. And take the right hand. Okay, just balance nicely. And make sure you have a nice cushion under your knees. And inhale. Take your hand, take your hand, and grab it. Exhale. And look up. And stretch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and try to take the other hand, and see, and take the hand first, down, 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 and reach, and stay here, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, and relax, inhale, exhale, and Okay, as I promised you earlier, I'm going to teach you uh, Ujjayi Pranayama today, okay? Which is a very important Pranayama. As you get used to it, your everyday breathing becomes deeper Ujjayi. So generally when we breathe with our nose, it's like around 14 to 15 breaths we take. Okay? And that means it's a very shallow breath. If our lungs are packed with 100%, when you breathe with your nose, it's just 30%, 25, 30%. And just a good check, time and energy, how many short breaths you take. Like Ujjayi Pranayama helps you to maximize your lung capacity. We go up to 75% when we do Ujjayi Pranayama. And that is fantastic because then in a minute we take around 6 to 7 breaths, which is very good to have a healthy, long lifestyle. Yeah? So that's what we are heading for. So yoga keeps you very, very healthy for a long time, changes your lifestyle. Uh, I can't even tell you the benefits when you practice yoga every morning at least five times a week. It keeps you very, very healthy. I don't know about the physical body, but the mental body too. You're able to handle stress. You're able to, you're much more calm. Your lifestyle becomes much different. And you become more positive in life. Okay? So let's try Ujjayi Pranayama. So you can either choose to sit in Vajrasana or sit in Padmasana Sukhasana. Any posture is okay. Okay? And, but make sure, the most important is keeping the spine straight. straight. So shoulders always back. Engaging the shoulders, not slouching forward, pushing it back. Chin slightly down. And now I'm going to take a deep inhale and exhale. So when I say inhale, we usually take the nose, but today we are going to try using the throat. Okay? So you take a deep inhale. You can hear some sound to my throat. Exhale. Inhale, tighten your throat and breathe through your throat. Exhale. Now, if you're making any sound like a snoring sound or some kind of a feel here, it's okay. That's part of it. As you practice regularly, you get used to it. There will be smoothness in your jayana. Especially when you're doing yoga. Doing this Ujjayi Pranayama is very, very important for Ashtanga. 
See, you can hold the posture more stronger, more longer. When you breathe in to Ujjayi, you can hold your breath up to 8 counts or 10 counts. Okay, so let's try three times. Okay, so join me. You can do more number of times, but I'm going to teach you how to do three times, five days. So I sit in Vajrasana, hands nicely open on my palms open on my knees, my spine straight, close your eyes, and try to observe your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. So we take power over our breath. Our breath is a very natural process happening, but yoga helps you to consciously make a shift in your breath and make you more stronger as you go. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this session. And uh, let's finish this session with Om Shanti as we started three times. Okay? So sit straight or you can sit in Sukhasana. I know, it's favorite for everyone. And then join your palms together and then chant OM from the center. So when you bring your palms together, your thumbs touch in the center. We have a very important center here, okay, the heart center. So try to let the thumb touch there and keep connected to your inner self. And let's chant OM three times, okay. Take a deep inhale. Thank you.